I know this is just, it was just a silly fleeting idea that I thought, but then it kept calling to me and calling to me and calling to me. And finally I was like, answer the call. So I finally answered the call. Now answering the call wasn't so easy because I didn't know how to do it. I've never written a children's book before. The hummingbird, feeling tired of hovering, messaging and getting no response, saw a place to rest and alighted on the stick in the water. Hello, hello, sonar the narwhal. I had an idea to do it. it I thought it was really interesting to see the most wee little animal on the planet, the hummingbird, um, with a long nose and the biggest other animal on the planet, a narwhal, with also a long nose and see how they might meet. Hello, my name is Annie Higby, and I'm from Owl's Head, Maine, and I'm the author and illustrator of the book called The Hummingbird and the Narwhal. And I'm here to tell you the story about their journey, which is about love, magic, and connection. I just kept thinking about the animals and what their, their voice was saying. And every time I thought about their voice, you know, what they might be saying, it made me have a longing for their voice. So I felt like it was my message to tell their message. The hummingbird was shaken by the thunderous hello. It was so loud and it shuddered through her small bony body like a volcano. What's special about the two characters is they live in different worlds and they're very different sizes. And they also live in different parts of the world. One lives under the sea, the other lives in the air. They, they go along with their life, you know, daily doing what they do. How would they ever meet? Why would they ever meet? And this story is about how they both basically get off track, they get lost, and then they meet in the most special way because they're both listening. I'm glad you're back. What was the message you got from the sky world? The message is that you're a magical creature, a unicorn of the sea, and you bring color and joy to the world. The calling to write this book is also about me listening for something other than my daily life, something that's not just work or a distraction. It's listening for a message I might want to say. And same with the book. The two animals listen in a different way such that they are able to receive a gift of kindness, receive a gift of connection to each other. And out of that gift comes something magical. Hello, peep the hummingbird. Who's calling? It's me, echoed the narwhal. I am the one who points to the sky. I didn't realize there was a creature attached to the stick. There must be more to you beyond this stick. I am a narwhal. I live mostly below the surface of the water. What are you? I'm a hummingbird. I fly above the surface in the air. Nice to meet you. I was hoping to meet someone and I was getting a little worried. I like your stick. It's just like mine. What does your stick do? The hummingbird asked. I think listening is really important, listening to that message, but also then acting on it. Because we all have great ideas. So when are you gonna catch that idea and actually put it into action? I'm hoping that you all watching this video will see that this is an important message that you would be interested to read to your friends, for yourself, to your children, and that you would continue to spread the message.